Alrighty then, let's see if the audio is working. Hey, Wolf! Okay, audio is working, and we are a sweaty, very sweaty go, folks. Actually, better have water on standby just in case I stream for too long. And then we get the hydration bot. Oh, wait, YouTube doesn't have it! Ah! Okay, folks. Uh, we're back with some more South Park, but last time... We finished the game's story, so there's nothing left to do, right? Wait, DLC bus. Okay, folks, so it is finally time for me to take a look at the DLC. Now, beforehand, I want to let y'all know, I have not played the DLC, so I do not exactly know how to do this i don't know the jokes coming up ahead all i know is that it's going to be a good time folks so we're starting with the first uh, story dlc from dusk till castle bonita also i switched the difficulty to oh holy shit dude finally done with part seven's ducking playlist i know you meant fucking but ducking sounds funnier Epic artifacts, DNA, and costume recipes from other select items from Casabo need to apply to your previous and future save data. Ooh! Your team has changed. No one! Are those pamphlets for the Peppermint Hippo? Okay, I don't know too much about the episode involving Casa Bonita. All I know is that it's based on a real place. So Kenny called us here to help us with something. Can we go back soon? Sure, kiddo. Man, those cliff divers were something, huh? I want to eat more soap of Hey, over here. Hey, Kenny. Kenny! Those fucking vampires kidnapped my sister and brought her here. Who knows what horrible things they're doing to her? You ready to do this? Yes. Good. We have to stop. Them. I'll do That's anything not. for you, Kenny. Very real. I know we've got other problems back in South, Park, but I can't let those monsters hurt my sister. Stand aside, mortals. Castle Bonita awaits. Before we go in, I need to know that you can handle yourself. Take out these guys, and I'll know you're ready. I'm starting to wonder if it was a bad idea that I decided to go with the vampires as my character's kryptonite. The only way to fight the darkness is with cooler, not lame darkness. Your superhero abilities alone will not be enough. And ladies and gentlemen, we have our first class. In order to defeat these creatures. Or DLC class. Netherborn. Holy shit, Mary looks metal as fuck, dude. As a netherborn, you've got some seriously sinister moves at your disposal. Hit one of them with your ghastly grasp power, then watch it closely. Ah. Holy shit! It'll chain to all adjacent enemies. Pretty cool, right? Hell yeah! Ooh, I'm liking this class so far. Who's ready to sleep with a nightlight? Actually, I recall sleeping with a nightlight. No, it wasn't a nightlight. I don't think I ever had a nightlight. I just had a night lamp. <laughs> Seasons don't fear the reaper, nor do the wind, the sun, or the rain! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! 
There's nothing to fear but fear itself. Well, guess what? You f do you fear death, Jack Sparrow? Okay, a tutorial fight out of the way, and we have our new class. Vampire Elixir, the fuck? Defeat 60 vamp kids. All right, but Damn. Ready. Let's go inside and Part 7 has over 70 fucking song references. Oh my! Back scratch! The Netherborn class is now be used in all save data. Hooray! If Karen turns into one of those vamp pukes, I'll never forgive myself. I'll scout for Karen. Okay. What is this? Ooh. Bust you. Oh, ladder. <laughs> oh no, that's not a coupon. Oh shit! Wait. Ooh, be right back, folks. Sorry about that, folks. Had to get the clothes out of the dryer. One of the songs is over 48 minutes long. My dude, explain! When Gaudium explain that shitty osa. Ooh, wait. Wait a minute. Take some eyes. No, I don't use it there. I'll wait. Called Tubular Bills by Mike Oldfield. Mike Oldfield. Why does that name sound so familiar? Mike Oldfield. I'm going to carbo load on Mexican food and then wreck at skeetball. You've been warned. Hey, Charming. How do you only have 76 subs? Well, it's a slow build. I'm totally getting the pinata plate. I can't wait to see Black Bart's cave, but I hear it's kind of scary. <sighs> Slow breaths. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Sorry, every person over the age of two must purchase a meal ticket at the register in order to experience the magic of Casa Bonita. 
That's right, one ticket will get you authentic Mexican food, death-defying cliff divers, the world-famous Black Bart's Cave, and more! Hey, Charmy, how was that pacifist run? Ooh, are we talking about a thousand year door? Apparently, it went well. We have to find another way in. Think of something, Butler. Karen doesn't have much time left. Oh, hey, you got a meal ticket. Go ahead in. Good job. Let's go. I wonder. Selfie? Yay! Enjoy Casa Bonita. You? Look at them. Those poor bastards don't even know that vampires are among them. We have to stop this evil once and for all. Look, vampires! Fellow vampires, we are gathered in evil here in the Tower of Darkness. Uh, I thank God that <sighs> the whole vampire kids craze sort of died out, thankfully, as soon as Twilight sort of got ultra mega shat on. Although I use save states, so it might not be considered legit, but whatever. My dude, if a game, if something is like legit challenging and you're playing on an emulator, it's perfectly fine to use save states in my, like, eyes. This is the biggest restaurant in the world! Oh my god. What the fuck are you doing in here? I was investigating an infestation of vampires here at Casa Benita. But then one of them threw me in I think save states were fine considering how pissed you were getting. Take a picture of me from my Instagram page while I'm in jail. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, asshole. Come on, I'm not leaving without my commemorative photograph. Move the camera into place and let's make some memories. That's good. That's good. You're so close. Come on. That's good. That's about as far as I can go. Yes, now come here. Nice. That's gonna look awesome on my kids' screen. When Thank oh rivet right. That I'm gonna do whatever I can to help. I wasn't really getting pissed, you were. <laughs> I'm gonna chuckle to myself because I misread the at the part with the spike pitfall. Damn. Ooh! Hey! It's nice to meet you! One plus a Rita, that's for sure. <sighs> so many choices. So many things to interact with. Honey soap appear. You okay, kid? Yeah, there'll be another time, kid. Maximum revive serum. Ooh, such fancy looking restrooms as well. Shit in time. So, hopefully, everybody's doing all right. But getting angry is perfectly fine in a game, just, you know, remember, if it gets too intense, take a break. Don't do what I did with Max Payne 3. Ooh, did I already tell that one? I've told that, like, so many times, because I love telling it to people. That's good that you're doing all right, Tremmy. So, Wolf, did I tell you the story of Max Payne 3 and how I broke my controller? But now I'm at a dilemma. Ooh, what is it? Thanks for the advice, man. I know. Hold on. How many stars was that? 
Four stars. Hmm. This toilet better be good or else it's getting a negative Yelp review. Part 8's playlist. So, the story goes, I was playing Max Payne 3 on old school difficulty. Which means... You don't have a certain ability called Last Stand, which is when you die, there is a. If you have a painkiller, you have a chance to come back by sh killing the last guy that killed you. I wonder, does shitting in that account for all of them? No, it doesn't. I'm a shit in every toilet. Welcome to the stream, people! So, in old school difficulty, it's essentially... Imagine the game on, like, probably hard difficulty, except for you don't have the last stand ability. Meaning, of course, you have to beat the game using not only free aim... I really hope that counted. Did that count? Yes. Part 8 isn't done yet, so compile all the song references so far, or should we wait until the part is over? I'd say wait until the part is over. I must ask, like, legit... How clogged up is your system that you're you can shit three times in succession? That was probably too gross. I wish I had more coins to throw in the wishing well. So there's some change. I hear this wishing well really works. And Cartman's just enjoying some tacos. Oh boy, that might take a while. There's some change? Go away, I gotta focus on my next wish. Looks like okay. the last BAM kids are finally here. Let's get started, kids. Alright, kids, who's ready for the best birthday party ever? We've got a lot of surprises for you. It's gonna be so cool, you're gonna love it. Did somebody say speech? Okay. So you broke your controller playing old school difficulty. <sighs> You want to know how long Part 7 lasted for? Okay, explain it. While I explain exactly... Well, I completely missed the joke. One reason why I start and why I really like Kenny... He uses his superhero persona to, uh, to protect his little sister. Something about that is just so sweet that it just warms my heart. 2005 to 2011. God damn! That's a whole six years! Boy, it's gonna be fun. Ooh. So, to further explain the whole destroying controller, I was on the very last level of the game, which requires you to shoot out a private military in a Sao Paulo airport. Mm, do I dare do scythe or... Yeah, this would take care of way more. Feel the wrath! Oh, hey, we're all having fun here. Maybe this lighten up those hits, okay? Bandit all hook, Babs. It's coup time. I can't even do it there. I bet this party's gonna be the talk of the schoolyard tomorrow. Wait a minute, bitch! You don't get to go. That's gonna hurt, but put a little ice on it, you'll be fine. We're all just having fun. Okay, come on, finish the story, Chester. I'm the master of unfinished stories. I'll tell you a story, and it sounds so interesting, but it never, there's never an ending. You never get the conclusion. I just blue ball you. Hey, 
Hey, Henrietta. What's the difference? She's goth. What's the difference? Look at us. I'm smoking a cigarette. We have Plus, you're dressed completely in black. And it's not done yet. Damn. So, on the final level, you have to take care of not only... Are you ready? Not only a private military, but there is a whole fucking crowd of these bastards. Like, you would not believe. Huh. Okay, it seems like she's more focused on healing. Okay. Ooh. Who is ready for some shit wrecking? I hope I'm not coming off as too loud, but. Anyway. Uh. I died so many fucking times that I got so angry that I said fuck it. And I literally just bashed my controller right on my desk. Pretty damn hard. I watched a guy do it old school, see, hand, hand do it on old school, see it and be envious. Ooh. Cause here's the thing though that makes it more challenging, you can't technically quote beat the game if you play with lock on on. Lock on on! I like this. Let's see what Henrietta's ultimate is. Welcome to hell. <laughs> it's good to have friends in dark places. Hell yeah, that was cool. Seasons don't fear the Reaper, but you should fear me. Sorry about that emo. Also, what? What's going on in the game is really screwed up, in my honest opinion. In this game or Max Payne 3? Tome of trans. Tome of teleportation consumable. What the fuck does it do? Cutscene time. Called it. And right now it can be used in all previous and future save battle data. I guess it just wouldn't be for me, sadly. Max Payne 3? This game. Oh. Well, let's just say Kenny needs us to help get his sister out of uh, the Vam Kid crowd because, well, obviously it's very lame. You can be goth, you can be emo, but if you're a vampire kid, you're out. And sincerely, that gets the go-ahead from me, because... who oh boy! Washington State took a big fucking hit with tourism, all due to Twilight. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm a very positive fellow. I will encourage writing from pretty much anything, no matter how bad it is, but when it comes to Twilight, Hail to the no! Well, it's South Park. I know, but eh, it's perfectly fine, man. I mean, in my eyes, no character really gets killed. Not counting Chef from uh, Stick of Truth because you fight a zombified form of him at the very end of the game. Also, the Nazi zombie fetus, the big one. The one that was from a Kardashian. Is that an item? Hat! Mariachi sombrero. Oh yes. Oh yes. I usually like South Park for violence. No, it's perfectly fine, man. 
And the rats. Oh, yeah! I suddenly remembered that part. Oh, that was fun. Well, there's obviously some kids over there. DDR? Bitch, no! You need to set for a selfie. Maybe the rats are okay, though. Uh, in the stick of truth? Uh, depending, of course, if you damage them high enough, they can, uh, pop. Yeah, that's not a good time. Hey, it's those kids trying to ruin our party. Hey. Needless to say, when I was done and over with that mission, I was glad because, well... Hitting rats just doesn't feel right. I hope so. Pop. Like the way you are. Yeah. No Whoop. Don't think so. Clone ho. So wait a minute. Your clone's a ho? Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Emo Chester with your latest terrible joke. And lunge. The red thing is the only reason I didn't play Stick of Truth. I'd definitely say that this game wouldn't be for you either because in some cases you do have to fight animals. Though, to my recollection, you don't have to fight rats, which is good. I wouldn't do the side quest, but the main quest requires you to fight big ones. Rodents of unusual sides. I smell blood. Yeah. What was here? You want darkness? I can do darkness. Wow, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> that was a thorough fisting. They'll be fine so long as you don't inflict overkill damage. Who's ready for Freddy? Welcome to prime time, bitch! You're a kid after my own black heart. Still, I don't want to harm rats like at all. Understandable, my dude. Legit think I'm keeping this fucking ability because holy shit, it has good range. Time to kick ass and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of ass. <laughs> and again, that forces you to hurt them is a no. Oh no, for me. Which is why I am thanking God when I was talking to you about bully. Is like you were really close to getting it, and then I remembered. Oh shit! Rats in the library. I thank God about that, dude, because I it would have been like really bad if you got so far into the game and then all of a sudden rats in the library. You have to harm rats in that mission. Okay. What the hell is this? Fish quest. Oh. It's just the 8-bit version of this. The gay fish Flappy Bird. Well, damn. Let's try that again. Just watch out 
Okay, so this is actually going to be a challenge. Maybe I could script the quest somehow. You mean it's time to chew ass and kick bubble gum? And I'm all out of ads. <laughs> it's time to kick gum and chew ass. <laughs> Fucking dick. Oh, damn it. I didn't... I didn't do it correctly, but that's one of my favorite videos of all time. One minute equals two seconds. <sighs> okay, fuck that shit. Ski ball time! Hold the charge. Fart. By Dick Kickham. Oh my god, I love the Dick Kickham video. You know what? There's one video. You know how Markiplier does like the try not to laugh challenge? Oh, you bitch. Eh, 20. Yosh! A short little tune of Luca Caracha. 120. Only two. Motherfucker, how much do I need? Oh, if you're in the arcade, um, listen carefully. Do not beat my high scores. I repeat, do not beat my high scores. I'll be pissed. No, fuck you. Imagine all this could be yours, kid. Ooh. Here's vampire relic. Bag of wrenching. Ah, there's some cool shit here. Oh my god, it's a little plushy Cthulhu! Neko ears. Neko ears. Alright, don't forget. No rough housing in the arcade. <laughs> I want that bear wearing the sombrero, but I don't have enough tickets. Oh! Well, let's try our hardest. What's in here? Oh, come on, I have to get to it. I got one ticket, so that's good. Oh, I can't DDR. Yeah, I love the marks, try not to laugh. Oh, yeah, back on track, that episode. Um, I don't know what, but it's like a video of a guy who, like, replies to a guy while in the car... And it weirdly sounds like if Bill Cosby and Boomhauer from King of the Hill was, like, mixed. I want to find the original version of that video because I'm just so intrigued as to what it was. Machine gun! Wait. Time freeze.
Holy shit. My armor hurts. Holy shit, I got three tickets. Oh, my arm! It hurts so much. I've been playing No More Hero. Uh, no. no, you can't do DDR. No, all right, this game's zero out of ten easily. I've been playing No More Heroes Lost Par Isn't it Lost Paradise? That's the, uh, isn't that the, um... Uh, the PlayStation 3 uh, port of the game since No More Heroes was originally Nintendo. What the hell? Oh, that's what it was. Ooh, smoky eyes. <sighs> that's Fits of the North Star. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Lost Paradise. Whoops! Daytona, USA. Daytona! Daytona! I want my tickets! The stupid machine ate my tickets. Ooh, can yay, we can change back into our original outfit. What the f what was my outfit? Daytona, let's go away. Heroes Paradise is the HD port of No More Heroes. You know what? No More Heroes is a series I've always wanted to try, but never have been able to. Oh, I think I used to have its theme on my phone. Because, you know, it's good to have that on your phone. Because holy shit, it's an amazing theme. Yo! Anybody remember the Some Call Me Johnny review? Or, no, the SGB review where they talk about it. I love the comedy bit where he just integrates the song to day to day life. I'm pretty sure you'll love it. Dude, already, let's start off with the fact that it's a Suda51 game, which for starters, I've never played one. Uh, I never played one before uh, Let It Die, and I fucking love Let It Die. Though, I obviously took a break because. It's a free-to-play Dark Souls game. It's it's gonna kick your ass. What do we have here? What would you do with a drunken sailor? What would you do with a drunken sailor? What would you do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? We head up, she rises, they head up, she rises, they head up, she rises early in the morning. Can we switch our powers yet? Well, I believe we can, but let's stick. Actually, let's... Nah, I'll, I'll just stick with what I have right now. Yeah, pretty much have all of them. Ooh, they are going to have a third one, which is cool. But, the Suda51 game, the character looks like Johnny Knoxville, and he's voiced by Robin Atkin Downs. I have the one on Switch. It's not bad. I heard it's more of an arcade uh, inspired one, though.
Yeah, this is a real thumb killer. Okay, three more tickets. How many tickets do we have now? Twelve. You got tickets? I got prizes. <sighs> okay, we got enough for that, but I really want to get the Cthulhu plushie. Killer 7, no more heroes, let it die, killer is dead. Anyways, I gotta sleep really tired. Night everyone, the Knoxville comparison was intentional. Oh, yeah, I know. Okay, rest easy, Charmy. Sudak kept showing his team a clip from Jackass when Knoxville got his nipple bit by a baby alligator for Travis's personality. You know what? Weirdly enough, like, the first Jackass movie feels so weirdly raw. Damn it! Damn! Oh, I suffer the little children. You got nothing. I know you. Good night to wrong or raw. Um, I guess the word is that I'm looking for is that the first Jackass movie, like its camera quality, wasn't as good as two, so it feels more like the show just uncensored. No joke. I have a DVD set of like every Jackass movie. Oh my god, I just saw Mary smile. Oh, that's so cute. Nope, not gonna hit it. Bitch. Oh, you bitch tit. You didn't get it? Motherfucker. Too high. Close enough. Ah, oh, you. Ah! Two hundred. How much does that net me? Two hundred nets me two. Okay, so at least the ski ball seems to be relatively a good way if you can just get the timing down. Ah. Oh. At least got 20. Another 20 ain't too bad. Did you see what Matt is playing for SGB? Oh, hell yeah, I saw that they're finally getting into Saints Row 2. 260. How much does that net me?
three tickets. Let's keep doing this a little bit. That's not... That's no bueno. No bueno. Mother! Fucker! Bitch. I didn't see the episode, though. I kind of wanted him to play Ratchet and Clank 2, but that's just me. I want them to, too, but I think Matt did say the reason why they haven't gotten to it yet is because I guess Matt doesn't have fond memories with Going Commando, but I have extreme fond memories of Going Commando. In fact, downright, like, hell, like, that's definitely a series I want to let uh, do stream in the future, because... Going Commando was like my entry into Ratchet and Clank because a friend of mine had the game and it was like, hey, this game's cool, you know, give it a try. Bitch, I overshot it. Damn, too late. Motherfucker. Yeah, me too. It was your introduction to the series, or you have fond memories too? 200 again. <laughs> I really want to try and see how many I can get with, like, if I can get all perfect. Damn it, overshot it. If I just waited a little longer. Fun memories. Ah, oh, man. Just like I'm getting nostalgia overload. And like the strangest thing is that the friend that like lent me the game, for some odd reason they could never get past like the what was it, the Megacorp spaceship section, which confused me, because it's, like, really straightforward. I remember playing the first one and getting the Rhino. Oh, it was amazing. Ooh, I'm trying to remember, did... I'm trying to remember correctly. In Red... It's been a long time, but didn't, uh... Wasn't there two Rhinos in the game, where if you had the Rhino from the first game, you could get it at the Gadgetron vendor and you could get the Rhino too yes uh, I think Damn, undershot it. Overshot it. Damn it. His knees are weak, arms are heavy, there's vomit on his window already. Mom, spaghetti! <laughs> Ma, get me spaghetti. I don't remember honestly. Dude, like I don't have a capture card, but like you can bet your ass. Soon of course is like I have it. At some point in the future, I'm going to have to like hunt it down or at least get like some good emulated versions of the games. It is now day 375. And Chester is still playing ski ball. Oh, you bitch, I got you. It's all in the measure. 
It's not the size of the boat, it's the motion of the ocean. I should get Ratchet and Clank's uh, collection. Dude, not gonna lie, it's a pretty decent, like, version. But don't get the digital version, because uh, you've seen from the SGB playthrough. Flat Gadgetron Lizard. Okay, I've got 24. Have you ever seen such a fine selection of dogs? You got good taste in prizes, kid. Kid. <laughs> I want that bear wearing the sombrero, but I don't have enough ticket. This isn't really a... <laughs> Your father and I aren't made of money, you know. It's so cute. <laughs> With the hair. Wait a second. Oh, how much you want to bet I could have used that to win the fight? Yep, I could have used that to win the fight without having to fight. I'm so mad I got a ski ball now. I'm going to get the physical copy. I had the physical copy. You know, weirdly, my exposure to up your arsenal was... I came across the game at a Costco. <gasps> oh. Okay, I got 300. Damn, undershot it. How much do we get? Day 734. Chester is still playing ski ball. The only thing I have to set it to digitally get is JoJo All Star Battle. I'm trying to remember. Wasn't that the one where they held like a competition using the game's AI and whoever won would get the PS, uh, get a PS3 theme after them? And I believe Dio won. Because, no shit. Yeah. You thought the hero would get the PS3 theme, but it was me, Dio! <gasps> Let's see if we can aim for 400. 400 Mabudas. 400 Mabudas. 400 Mabudas. 400 Mabudas! Undershot it. You bitch tit. Cock. Rada rada da! Oh, I know about that one special move. There was like. Uh, was it an SNES fighting game where essentially Dio's ultimate move is like taking a fucking steamroller? Damn, I went too far. I'm addicted. Bitch tits. Dreamcast and yes. Ah, Dreamcast. You know, I know this is really weird, but I kind of like how, like, when uh, it was like the mid-90s and fighters were sort of evolving, I like how some of them kept the 2D aesthetic, but, like, because of the better technology, the sprites were, like, so fucking crisp. Imagine, all this could be yours, kid. You got good taste in prices. Actually, I wonder... Ah, damn it. The Cthulhu plushie isn't worth it. Wait a minute, let's go back in. Check something out. Oh my god! You're my hero! Wow, look at you! Woohoo! 
Do you want Instagram hero? Let's do it again. Do it again. At least you have it. I'm so glad that this little puke shut up. Yeah, true. This is Wrinkle Man. No, it's Wrinkle Man. It's Wrinkle Man. Man. Sorry, kiddo. My cave is temporarily closed. Vomit incident. Damn. Oh, hey, Kyle. I beg. Keep going, new kid. We need more relics. Ooh, a selfie? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> Crawling in my skin. What am I gonna find up here? What? Okay. This is a video in question. Click. And media is set to mute. Oh, that's it. And I unscrolled YouTube, so now I can't see chat for a little while. Hey, chat, you better behave yourselves. Better not put anything inappropriate in there. If you're not with us, mortals, you're against us. Go away, I gotta focus on my next wish. Okay. What's here? Ooh, more stuff. It looks like uh, Jakita the gorilla is working with the vamp kids. He may know where the vampire relic are. Better not say anything inappropriate, chat. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. I'm going to say the Edward. You can't say that, spy. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. He had no idea what he's messing with. Hello, gentlemen. I can say the Edward. Don't do it, spy. You don't know what you're messing with. <laughs> I can't finish that. <laughs> oh my god. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Holy shit. Get your paws off me, you damn dirty ape. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I... I do apologize if anyone got slightly angry at my edgy boyism. Do I have to fight the kids? Selfie! Wait, is like individual? Wait a minute. So it brings that kid away. Stream, why are you trying to load? You need the mariachi set. Oh. There's probably a lot of shit I'm not going to be able to do on my first go. Yay! Ooh, wait, can I redo it? Don't think so, bitch. Two, three, four. Everyone shall die. Never played it? 
Are you prepared for shipwrecking of the likes you've never seen? Shakita the gorilla says, let's just have a fun birthday party, okay? Oh, you're gonna die, bitch! Don't think so. I know it, I'm surrounded by assholes. I love that line. Can I reach him from here? Nope. Can I reach him from here? Nope. What the hell? Pokemon regains life, steal, and attack up. Oh, well, well okay then. Okay. Teleport to a selected square. Fucking really? Can't call her. Eh, Gerald, cheese in time. I'm hoping to try to get this done during tonight at least. Let's hope. According to a review, of course, somebody said it's like at least two hours. See him coming! God damn it, Mr. Would it kill you to be a little more up Chiquita the Gorilla could still have a career in professional wrestling. Chiquita the Gorilla could use a band aid or four. Don't fear the Reaper, but fear me! That's right, you kid. Channel your rage. Heavy metal is nothing but death and the rage of a beast. Fucking sweet. Fucking finally. Lunge! That's not something a sociopath would do at all. It's the stroke of midnight somewhere. No mercy. It's only gonna get worse. Shakita the gorilla discourages deadly combat in the dining area. Silence. God damn it. Motherfucker. It's go time, butt lord. Sight you time for you. Oh. Well, yay. What the fuck is a Sopila? Vampire Relic. Fuck. Sucks? Okay. Okay. You made Chiquita the Gorilla feel a little better after making him feel way worse. Yay. Chiquita. Chiquita the Gorilla should lie down now. Chiquita the Gorilla doesn't want to fight anymore, you guys. Can't we all just get along, says Chiquita the Gorilla out loud. Chiquita the Gorilla may be bleeding out, kids. <laughs> he's inter- and he's bleeding internally. Yay! Arm socks. Oh, that. Eh, I've seen emo kids wear them. You know what? You're right in the middle of the center, so you know what? It's time for fucking entourage. Punch, 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 punch. There was more to that part than meets the eye. More than meets the eye. See the vampire slayer, but not a preppy conformist bitch. Don't mess this up, dickbag. Ooh, kids. Oh yes, 
Do you feel it? Do you feel it in your bones? Is hi, Joel. Beware the king. Are we really doing this again? What do you think? <laughs> With each passing move, I'm growing stronger. I need to stop. Stop. Stop in the name of joke theft. You're going to a better place. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've sat down and watched a Joel stream proper. I'm too nervous to catch one live. Cause like, the chat, there's like so many fucking people memeing. Enjoy your coffin. Drive a stake through the werewolf's heart. I'm sorry, what? Don't try too hard, Fuckhole. Let the hands of death embrace. You're not gonna know what hit you, but it was definitely the key. The coon claims another victim. Werewolf? Eh, I just thought of the... John Tron, the Howling 2 video. Because for some odd reason, my thought went to vampires, and I thought of steak. You know, the steak to the heart. And then I thought of the line. Because it sounds so disjointed, because the lady says it like, Drive a steak through the werewolf's heart. I'm so glad you're hanging out with our Henrietta. She needs some new friends. Where else do we go? Ooh! Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. How can you listen to this bull? I resent that. Did you know Black Bart was a stagecoach robber? Hey, no cut. Don't get in Black Bart's autograph. We can get another one. Because I'm TNT, I'm dynamite, TNT, and I win the fight, TNT. I'm a power load, TNT. Watch me explode! Oh! Let me guess because I'm TNT and I don't mind. Damn it. Wait. Yes. Holy shit, am I hungry? Okay, that time I blink. Doop 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 Oh, damn it. Wait, there we go, folks. The wheels are turning, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, Emo Mochester is not just some dim, d dim. She is not just some dim idiot. Dim, dim Emo Mochester. He's nothing but idiot. He's idiota. Idiota?
Oh shit! Hmm, I wonder, did I fuck myself over? We can get another one. Wait. Let's get another one. Here's an idea. Damn, I can only Ooh, that's how we do it. Too much fun. Oh, I think you blink. Come on, let's get up here. Ooh, fifteen tickets. So far, this DLC is pretty all right. Nothing's really throwing out and making me have a good chuckle, though. Which I find concerning. I find you, and I find your lack of funny disturbing. Wait. Wait a second. Do I have to push the dynamite all the way over here for a platform? Come on. Can I move it? There we go. Not yet, wait until later. I think you bleed. It's mine. Oh, mine. <laughs> Any of y'all ever uh, played? Ultimate Spider-Man. The Venom sequences were always funny because after a certain point when your health is low, Venom starts to remind you, hey, bitch, I need to eat in order to live. And I love that. Wait, did I fuck myself over? Yeah, I think I fucked myself over. Yes. And I don't know why, but like, Venom doing the hunger feed has like always stuck with me. So not only are they vampires, Who the hell are you? You know that nightmare you have about Hot Topic burning down? I'm way worse. <laughs> Don't think so, bitch. Another one, huh? Why not? Yiggity yeet, please, motherfuckers, just accept your defeat. Motherfucking healer. And of course, he's the most prissiest looking dude. I think I played the second Spider Man. I think that was the second Spider Man game I ever played. What was the first? <laughs> the movie game. I won't lie, I like the movie game, but it's not without its flaws. 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 Oh, even. Let me tell you about all the darnest things that the movie game gets wrong. Yes, it was. Ooh. Honest opinion, though. Like, did you enjoy it? I. I look back fondly on the movie game, even though it is flawed, and I can't help but kind of like it because of its flaws. 
Uh, I want to do it here. Yeah, you know what? I'll burn you. Okay, Kenny. Knock him up. That was also the first ever game I played. Wow. That's crazy, man. I, I don't even know what my first game was. Like, not really. I mean, I have, like, recollection. I'm probably going to say it was probably... Maybe Toy Story 2 on the N64? Classy, run this bitch over now! You dare say raw in my presence? I will fucking gun you down! It must have been 14 years ago. I think I saw my first ever M-rated game at the age of... The hell, I don't even remember. Don't you mean a lower power? Get it? This hell stereotypically seen as beneath the earth. <laughs> Okay. You found the last relic. Congratulations. You win the scavenger hunt. Now meet me at the VIP room for more vampire fun. So much useless shit. Oh my god. Yay. Now I can get back up here. Oh, that's right. That sounds really silly, but... Mm, silly. You know, it sounds pretty silly. I know it sounds pretty silly, but... The game that scared me the most as a kid was Celebrity Deathmatch on PS2. Okay, like, won't lie, you're kind of valid there. But here's the real question. And this question is, how the fuck were you allowed to watch that? As a kid, like, I had a knowledge of Celebrity Deathmatch, but, like, the idea was not something really appealing. Like, I... Th <sighs> really looking back, Celebrity Deathmatch... It's semi-interesting, but at the same time feels like too much of a product of the early 90s. Which is bad. I borrowed it from my neighbors. Sure, you borrowed it. What's that supposed to mean? Of course I borrowed it. Chester? Don't be a dick. But I am a dick. But like, isn't the game rated M? And I must ask, how old were you? Wait. Ah. Uh. All oh, right. It was, and I think I was either 9 or 8. What terrified you about it? Because I recall a family member of mine finding it, and it looked 
interesting, to say the least. I can feel, oh, I can feel something happening, it's, it's happening in my pocket. Wow, you broke the spell and made this key appear in my pocket. Now go on in and enjoy the party, kids. Make sure you stop by the Clamato Fountain and take pictures. I send it up my. I'm very angry with you, Mr. Counselor. Come on, let's go. Karen! Guardian Angel, please don't hurt my friends! They're not your friends. You're just under their spell. Otherwise, you'd see how completely fucking lame they are. You've gone too far, Martal. You've laid eyes upon the blood fountain of eternal life. Now, you must die. Let's end this shit. Clamato Fountain. Oh, hell no! You ain't healing shit! Bitch! Holy shit! Why wasn't I using that? As an expert on pain, that looked painful. The cartoonish but bloody violence. Who's ready for Freddy? Welcome to prime time, bitch. Didn't you already say that? Yes. Lunge. Wow, this room is gigantic. Pretty poor use of space. I'll mention it on the comic card. Damn. Twilight falls. Well, of course it does. It falls onto the fire. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. Cat! Gan! Wasn't... Okay, I know for a fact Marilyn Manson was a part of it. Wasn't Eminem also a playable character? Sup, y'all? Hope y'all ready. I can't tell if that was the music hyping up or if it was my fan just going into fucking Supernova. I don't know, maybe. Punch someone for the coon, fart lord. Damn, I'll call me do it there. Mother. Here's an idea. Why don't I spawn myself in here? I came here to kill vampires and eat Topa Pia. And I'm gonna do both. Burn, motherfucker! The blood fountain will heal my unholy wounds. Be gone, butt butt. Uh, hey, cubic vampires! Wow, that was an old one. Life is pain. Damn these flames! You want darkness? I can do darkness. Wow, that's pretty cool. No! Nice. Teddy! Fuck! Someone, someone doused me with non-holy water. My night children, drink deep from the unholy Clamato fountain. Remember Full Metal Alchemist? I know of it, but never really played it. Yeah. Jesus Christ! It. Nah, that would be tasteless. That's right, read those fuckers.
That move of Henrietta reminds me of it. I don't know too much of Full Metal Alchemist because it's always been that anime I wanted to watch at some point, but never have gotten around to it. It's time to call on the powers of the Reaper. and pieces of Full Metal Alchemist. Let's just say I am aware of a specific character's death and a certain scene involving it. Let's just say... Holy shit! Oh my god! Motherfuckers, how fucking dare you make me cry my eyes out? Ah, oh, fuck, I can't skip over the fucking blood fountain. I'm the rag! <laughs> I'm going to hell for that. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Time it perfectly. Clamp you bitch ass down. Bad news, blood suckers. Eh, fuck it, more burning. How's that for expressing myself? Don't think so. Time for clonage. Maximum clonage. Time it perfectly, air. Damn, didn't knock his bitch ass down. Knock his bitches down. Please inflict like damage. I'm not the only one who's damaged. Congratulations, you're dead. Yay! Society will feast upon your corpse! Snatch! Vampire elixir recipe. Okay, that's cool. Five hour psi energy drink. Kamado, Kamado bomb. Daiquiri mix. Oh god damn it. Damn it. Karen must be under their spell. We've got to break it. I'm gonna just get burgers. Ten out of ten would birthday again. Oh, that was useless. It was useless. Wait a minute. Bam. 
pet pinata candy. Goblet of Pozu. Pozu? Poser. Poser! Yeah. Meow! Semi Nirvana. Oh boy. This is going to be fun. More like no. Because it sucks. Her parents are loaded. They hate my guts. And I'm waiting for them to die. Ladies and gentlemen, that joke was brought to you by... Ron White. Was there any? Oh, wait. Okay, please tell me. Alright, let's see what we can do. Why? Oh my god. Skeleton costume. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your souls and seal your doom tonight. Shit, looks like I messed out on the stuff down below. Wait a minute. Ladder. And you so pila. So pila, so pila. I don't do to deal. So pila, so pila. I need a tortilla. Ladies and gentlemen, I do not know what's going on through my mind. Then again, who does? Who knows what lies within the hearts of men? In the hearts of many men! <laughs> many men! Many men! Hey, ladies and gentlemen. You know what time it is? It's 10.39 over here in Western Washington. And I am going to say to you, ladies and gentlemen, I am fucking tired. Yeah! <coughs> oh. Maybe if I moved it a little over? Yay! It's 12.30 over here. Alright. Hopefully I'm not cutting too much into your sleep, uh, sleep schedule. 
because like sleep is very important folks when you have it get it use it Wait a minute. Uh, I can't afford to do that. What exactly is this going to do? What schedule? Well, I... No, I don't want to do that. Wait a minute. I'll probably pop it up from there. Use it to get. Can I use it to get over there? <gasps> no. Problem, I know I can handle. Go up the ladder and pull that. I want to pull that. Pull that. Hit the no, Pull that. Oh. I don't get it. You uncultured swine! What are you looking at, you hockey? I meant to do that in time. What can we buy? Nothing. Okay, what can we sell? I was thinking you could like legit toss it down. Hey Ham, look! I'm Picasso! See? She wants to be with us. So why don't you just leave us alone? Ah, enough! This ends now! <laughs> you fools! You thought my stepson was the master vampire, but it was really me all along! Just like in the classic vampire... Why do you look like... Oh, that's who you're looking for. So... He is the father of that kid. Theme party, yeah, isn't it, mate? Come on. No, it's not cool. Nothing about a vampire theme party is cool. It's fucking dumb as shit. No, it's not dumb. It's a really fucking sweet party, and it's really, really cool. So shut up. I feel rage. Who wants to hear a joke? James Woods walks into a Forever 21. What would my life be without pain in me? In me. Little vampires. It's go time, my lord. And how much you need me to do, me to do, me to do, me to do. Throat starting to hurt from that. Pazars. 
Here we go. Back off, please! You're messing this up for me! You like frosted tits, don't you, Carrie? Yes, I do like frosted tits. Feed, my little ones. Wow, there are tons of kids at this party! Motherfucker! There's so many fucking kids! Just some birthday casualties, it'll be alright. Birthday casualties. Don't try too hard, Paul. Ain't nothing wrong with a couple of kids dying at a birthday party. <laughs> Why was the first thing that came to my mind was that one character from Don't Be a Menace to South Central while drinking your juice in the hood? That weird ass uh, hood parody film by the Wayans Brothers. There's a character, I think they call him Crazy Legs, he's in a wheelchair and he like has the goofiest as hell laugh. Please, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I love Pretty movies. Good, All over. Good, bad, you can guarantee it. I'll probably enjoy it. Kids? Are you ready, kids? Ah, Captain! Why does SpongeBob keep coming up in these streams? Maybe. Let me guess. Maybe. You're going to park. I need to stream. Maybe. Just maybe. Christmas means a little bit more. Maybe what comes from Christmas can't be bought in a store. Maybe it's Halloween needs a tad bit more. Be gone, servant of dorkiness. Oh god, here it comes. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, God damn it. Come on, no fear. I'm hot enough. There's a dark magic inside of you. I'm so angry. You know, I find it strange that my character. Her kryptonite is vampire kids. Yet, look, look. I am kicking so much ass. It's almost as if I set the game on easy. Don't think so, bitch. Speaking of SpongeBob, are you going to get the battle for Bikini Bottom remake? Conjure up, keep it back. With all calmness, yes. I'm going to get it. I am pretty excited about it, too. Because it was a uh, let me be correct. The movie game was more of my childhood, but Battle for Bikini Bottom was pretty fucking good. Insert Don't Fear the Reaper reference here.
go, Cartman! Yay! Inhuman mullet. Ew. Mullets. I say that, but when it comes, but when we stream GTA 5, there's a certain character who's gonna have a mullet. Now for the funny part. She's not having fun. It's over, dude. Just give up. Oh no, no. I have one more surprise for the birthday boy, and it's really Oh, cool. I think I know who's coming up next. What is he doing? Dark forces of Hollywood, hear me. Open the portal to hell. Release the spirit of our celebrity guest, Corey Haim, everybody. It worked. What the fuck? Come to me, Corey Haim. Come through the portal. Follow the sound in my voice. Who? I'm here, yay. Casa Bonita. Shamona. That's Corey Haim? No, you're not supposed to be here. You're not the star of the 80s classic, The Lost Boys. Who? Lost Boys? Where? I'll find them. Come on, let's go play. Let's They're just being the ignorant. Boys. Come on, let's go to Black Box Cave and find the Lost Boys. Shamona. <laughs> Wait, before we do that. Corey Haim totally just kidnapped your sister. You're just being ignorant. What, are you for, Go after them. what do you think? I'm grabbing shit. Holy shit, the crazy bastard made it. This could only mean one thing. Yeah, butthole's probably in the water level right now. Ah, fuck! <laughs> You know I am saving that. Uh, <laughs> uh, now go beat up Corey Haim. No, I'm just being ignorant. Oh my god, it's rolled held oh, minus one. <laughs> You're kidding. Mary's using farts to propulse herself through. That's funny and gross and cute. Eh, farts aren't really cute. And to some people they are. Is there a reason for getting the coins? I don't know, but I'm doing it. Do 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 that is clearly ripped off from Mario. ripped that off! You totally fucking ripped that off! You totally, 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 totally ripped that off! Look, it's Corey Hank, get him! No, you're being ignorant! I'm so tired of people being ignorant! Come on, Vampire! He's just ignorant! Michael Jackson beat is this trying to emulate? No one wants to be defeated. Shamona. Hee hee! With Corey Haim on our side, we cannot lose. Abandon all hope. Nah. I'm not the all hope is gone type. You ready for some ignorant? Ignorant ignorance. Just a bunch of innocent little kids in a world full of ignorance. We're up to our necks in <sighs> Do I dare admit something? I'm not sure. Would it be embarrassing? It's not really embarrassing if you love it, but 
I had a PSP version of a game called Michael Jackson The Experience, which on every other platform was like this really shitty Kinect game. I say shitty because, well, let's be honest, I'm not a fan of games that require motion controls. That's not Michael Jackson, all I see is Corey Haim. Right. You need to make a change. Are we really doing this again? Yes, we are. Hey, I think I see another Cory. <laughs> Why is he in my house? Hi there, Rocky! <laughs> You're making me angry, Rocky! You wouldn't like me when I'm angry, Rocky! <laughs> Rocky! Time for the Reaper, bitches! enough the PSP game was halfway decent at least it had like really good and really good audio quality of the Michael Jackson songs that absorbs everything oh come on kids death isn't fun let's keep playing death is totally fun kids embrace nothingness What's the word I'm looking for here? What is the... It doesn't start with an N. The whole embrace nothingness... Ah, I forgot it. There's a fucking name for it. It sucks that I legit can't fucking think of the word of it right now. Nihilism? I think that's it. Or nihilist. Fucking enemies. That's fucking nasty. Corey, stop it. Sleep now, little vampire. Rebuild your strength. Okay. Yes. Beautiful form person. This is totally not kosher, dudes. Dude, this is pretty fucked up right here. Come on, children, this is good to each other. Oh. 
Dude, this is freaking fucked up right here. This seems like a good time to set up here. It boosts the ultimate meter? How did I not know this? Okay, easy peasy. Lemon sopelia. Ah. Lemon sopelia, lemon sopelia. It sounds fancy, but Italian. Don't let these posers get here. This is gonna be bad, isn't it? Hee hee hee. Okay, this isn't fun anymore. The entire time he's just been grooving, just fucking. Okay, he's not crotch grabbing. He's. He's literally just humping his hand in front of some children. Nasty bastard. Ooh, that's right, kid. Channel your rage. I wonder, can I even do it? Yes, I can burn him. Welcome to 1989, Miss Cory. Miss Cory? Miss? Bitch, you misgendered. Whee! Also, thank you, Wolf, for pointing out the word. Damn it. I hit the mic. Shit. What just happened? Even I'm wondering. Flask of Vampire Tears. The fuck? Touch of Youth? The fuck? I need Sopilia items. Sopilia. Where's Karen? Look, we broke the spell. Karen, are you okay? I think so. I could feel Cory Haim taking over my body, but then I woke up. And now I can finally see. See how completely fucking lame Vamp kids are. Oh man, she's mortal again. Come on, Vamps, let's go watch the puppet show. Why did I ever want to be friends with those weirdos? I told you they were lame. What took you so long to realize it? I just wanted to have some friends to play with. My brother, he's my best friend, but he's always too busy to hang out with me. Game? Don't do this! Oh, well, uh, I'll have a talk with him. I I'll make sure he spends more time with you. I promise. Thanks. You know, if you were goth, you wouldn't even care about having friends. Really? Well, what would I have to do to be goth? It's easy. <laughs> that wasn't that fun, Easy Girls. Super sweet party, huh? Here, have a gift bag for being a good sport. Here's one for you, and here's one for you. And how would you like one, young lady? No thanks. Gift bags are fucking lame. <laughs> At least she's not a vamp kid. <laughs> is that the end of Casa Bonita? The secret ingredient in the Sopapillas is shame. Are you serious? Yes. Wait, I already did take a picture with her. <laughs> so... Yeah! Yeah, this is the aim. You did it. Corey Haim is dead. Again. 
Who's calling AIM? I came for the fajitas, but I'm staying for the AIM. Okay, so... Shockingly, this fucker was actually kind of accurate. It took me like... Two hours? Around to beat it? Okay, folks. Thanks for helping this... Hey, let me read that. Thanks for helping, Mysterion. Save my sister, butthole. She was really in a dark place, I hear. <laughs> Please leave. Everything hurts. I never knew Cory Ham was such a creep. You can't deny he's got talent. Let's go home. Go back to South Park? Hell yeah, he was a child star in the classic 80s movie as Lost Boy. I'm gonna fucking look that shit up. I swear to God. Wait, that's the farting vigilante. Okay, let's let's look that up. I need a face to go along with the name. Corey Haim. Corey Haim. Not Haynes, Haim. Okay, legit. Don't know who those. <laughs> don't know who this guy is. Which kind of makes me sad. I don't know how I don't know this guy because his name sounds familiar. I really sincerely hope it's not the same guy. Was it the guy that was in the Neverending Story too? was supposed to be here back in December. I, I, I'm gonna stop right now because I don't want to turn the stream into something dark. Well, he's dead, so... I never watched it, so I don't know. Uh, I won't dig into that because obviously, like I said, I don't want this stream to become sad all of a sudden, but that was the Casa Bonita DLC, and gotta say... Eh, I don't, I kind of don't remember the original price, but for two hours it was alright, but it didn't feel impactful enough. Had a few chuckle moments, but not something totally worth it. However, next week is when we'll return with the final DLC. I'm not sure how long it'll be. From what I've heard, it is actually kind of sizable and pretty fucking big. Bring the Crunch, which is basically... A straight-up parody of horror films, which is going to be fucking sweet! Okay. I can't wait for Bring the Crunch. It's, it's gonna be fun. Also, Bring the Crunch has a really fucking cool ability. I can't wait to use it. Alright, so deep breath. <sighs> okay. So, next stream will be tomorrow, folks. It will be some more Grand Theft Auto San Andreas fun. We're going to try our best to complete, you know, the heist and all that shit. And I'm going to try to continue on with the plot a little more. And I'm going to say again that I'm going to do stuff in between sessions. But like a little bitch, I don't because I'm lazy. I'm so lazy. I don't want to move my body. Oh, the cramps! <laughs> okay. Uh, back on track, folks. Back on track. So, next stream will be tomorrow at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Those who live in the East Coast of America, that's around midnight. Those who live in the UK, that's around 5 a.m. And those who live in Brazil, that's around 1 a.m. That is GTA San Andreas fun. 
We will return with probably the finale of South Park next week. Same time, obviously, but I'm rambling on for quite a bit. Anyway, stay safe, everyone. See you next time. Bye! Also, thank you, Wolf, for tuning in. You're awesome.